Many homes in Kampala are left in the care of a domestic worker. Cleaning, cooking, washing and taking care of the children are among their responsibilities for the day. But what happens in some of these homes? You are not supposed to sit near us. You are supposed to remain in the kitchen. You are given the leftovers. You, you are not supposed to eat meat. When the, the family members are eating fish, they are eating chicken, they are eating meat, matoke rice, to mention but a few, you are given portion plus the leftover of beans, which was kept in the fridge, which has spent almost two weeks. You normally get this and you warm it, then you eat that with portion. And you're supposed to eat last. You are not supposed even to watch TVs. You are not supposed even to draw clothes at visitors. You are not supposed to know anything concerning the, 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 house, the household. You are a, a domestic worker, and therefore you are supposed to be kept behind the curtains. In January this year, Deo Grasha Senzeimana started working in a home in Chiwatule, a Kampala suburb. His third child, Abigail, was born in August, and his employer gave him three days off to see his wife and his newborn daughter in Kisoro district. I miss them. Because you see, working very far from your family, sometimes your kids can get sick, and you are not there, you cannot know how they are, instead of uh, telephoning there. As many families celebrate the festive season with their loved ones, for many domestic workers it will be about work. Christmas Day is especially busy. I will not go. I will be here. But I love to come and work since it will be a big day for them as well. Yeah. A day before our interview with another domestic worker we will call Jane, she broke the news to her mother that she would not be able to celebrate the festive season with her. When I was speaking to her, she really sounded like she was unhappy about it. Yeah, because that's been like, like I told you, I last saw them before COVID. And those who have the chance to return home leave behind anxious employers. People are wondering how they are going to handle their families. Yeah, so you should put yourself in the shoes of these girls. Imagine she's doing this work of mine from Jan to December or to whatever time how she handles that work but you're left in your home only for not even three days and you find it very difficult. Nzeimana will travel home to Kisoro in January. For Jen, her return back home remains a mystery. Midday is usually a peak hour when it comes to preparation of lunch in different households. Their food is their food. Our food she, she always, I mean, she normally give, uh, every month she give money for food. She's making the chicken, she's making the, the sausages. And I don't think if one sausage is given to this girl, really, it's a big issue. Yeah, we are living in a country which is rich with food, really. The first person you should value is this person who is taking care of the family. According to Hanifa Twesge, the chairperson of the Domestic Workers Association, DOA, Uganda does not have a minimum wage, so an employer will give what they deem fit. They live in, the least gets 80,000. And those live out, they get, the least gets 30 per month, 30,000. The Employment Amendment Bill 2022 was retabled for the first reading before the Parliament of Uganda on the 21st of September 2022. The bill seeks to amend the Employment Act 2006. It includes a contract of domestic work or casual work under the definition of a contract of service and to provide for a domestic worker to be considered as an employee under a contract of employment. However little the pay is, Issues varying from non-payment, delayed payment and stagnation in pay over the months and years exists. Whenever a domestic worker is supposed to start work, you make a contract. It's either verbal or written, but in most cases it is always verbal. And you know, verbal, uh, verbal cases, other people for, tend to forget that we agreed upon this and when the domestic worker, as being a domestic worker, they don't listen to her. It is the ladies in the ho household who normally mistreat the housemaids. When my boss shouts at me, sometimes, like I said, it makes me really feel bad. I feel bad 
obviously no one wants to be shot on, right? Even her, if I was to show that her, imagine just her putting herself, herself in my shoes, like me shouting at her, obviously she'll feel bad, right? Employers and domestic workers can build a mutually respectful relationship. The parents are their friends, the kids are their friends. Once they get problems, they help them out. Uh, they, they give them little, little things. At the end of it, they will give back what you're giving them. Better communication, if created, would help Jen speak to her employer when she has issues like sickness. But normally I don't tell my boss that I'm sick. Why? Why don't you I just feel, I feel like she, she might think like maybe I'm... I'm lying or stuff like that. So I just keep it for myself as I be on medication. The news has carried many stories of domestic workers turning their wrath on helpless children in their care. Tuesiga says the challenges they endure could be the cause of their anger. What is in the media is caused by all this mistreatment of a domestic worker. They are not taken as human beings. The Domestic Workers Association provides a platform for domestic workers with a grievance. Rita Kanyamujuni, NTV.